Uh, I feel as though it begins with a D. Uh, Dunkirk. Dunkirk. There you go. Ah, we got it. Cut that out. Put it in the front of the video. Ha! Welcome back to Cinema Geeks, everybody. We are here in the building. We got, we got, uh, what was the name that you gave ourselves? Oval Head and Square Head. We got Oval Head and Square Head. We are back, guys. We are back for another one. Another banger. We are back to watch another banger. This is going to be Christopher Nolan's. I don't even know what movie this is, but Christopher Nolan. What was Christopher Nolan's last movie? It was the war movie, right? With Tom Hardy? Yes. What was that movie called uh, again? 19... No, 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 no. Not 1914. I know you're supposed to say 1914. Isn't that... That was Christopher Nolan's movie? Yeah, wasn't that his movie? I don't know. I feel like we've been give, giving out the wrong facts. Oh, wait. I'm no. thinking of the movie where Tom Hardy's flying, and it was like, um... What war was that? Was that World War Two or World War One? Uh, what was the name of that movie at? That was my last Christopher Nolan's, what I, from, what I remember as being Christopher Nolan's last movie. Uh, you don't remember that movie? Tom Hardy's flying a plane? The whole entire movie? It, it keeps, it's different stories happening. It's like a, a dad and his son on I don't a boat think I rescuing s- people. Oh, yeah. It, it, oh, I'm sorry. That is, that's not 1914. That's, that's not 1914. Um, that's... We'll take a break after these short messages. What is the name of that shoot? Because I could totally see it in my head. All right. Well, this is Christopher Nolan's next movie right here, and it's called Tenet. And you know what? I know completely nothing about yeah. this movie. I don't know anything about this movie. I just know uh, John David Washington from Black Klansman is uh, starring in it. That's all I really know about it. Uh, you know anything about this movie, Tenet? No, I don't know. I don't right. know much. I don't know. And he gave out like a teaser like a few months back. It was super teaserish. I don't even know what was happening. Uh, but yo, let's let's watch. Let's watch. Let's just get into the trailer right now. You guys ready for the trailer? Yeah! All right then. Let's do it. Until we feel that heat. Oh, they're on wires? We can never know. Is this Inception or two? <laughs> right? <laughs> you do. You chose to die instead of giving up your colleagues. Oh, we just got put to sleep, that right? Test you passed? Not everybody does. Welcome to the actual earth. Whoa, he's a ghost, fam. Christopher Nolan? To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat we face. What threat? As I understand it, we are trying to prevent World War Three. Oh. If they all cost. No. Something worse. Where's the nuclear holocaust? All I have for you is a word. Tell it. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. You have to start looking at the one in a new way. Yo, what's happening here? Don't try to understand it. Is it just the style of the editing that they're re- reversing everything, or is that has to look the even the the letters are reversed? Hasn't happened yet. Are they reversing Wait, time? Tenet. Time runs out. Tenet. Tenet. That's a that's and, a that's a palindrome. It is a palindrome, right? And like so, they're like reversing, like they well that they they made it a point that they're reversing things, and it's like do we have to figure it out before time runs out. What are they doing? They're reversing stuff. I don't. I don't know how they're able to see something that hasn't happened yet. Exactly. And 
I don't know if there's if they edited the trailer where they were reversing stuff or he's actually seeing stuff in reverse at different point moments in time. Like what's going I on? I feel as though he is because the way he interacted with the car being flipped over, it seems yeah, right. Though- that that was a little bit uh what is happening yo what are they doing are they like he didn't himself? know he didn't know he was unaware he himself was shocked like the audience it's like this movie has intrigued me i want to know more i want to know more i don't even i can't even really give a, a correct uh um i can't even make up my mind about this movie yet because i don't i don't exactly know what it's about but i i, I want to know what it's about I want to know what this what this guy is on the phone playing chess. He's not even paying attention to the damn freaking shit. He don't even know what he just watched. He thinks he just watched a music video. Or some shit. <laughs> Wait, what? That wasn't the Chris Brown no guidance video. Oh god, terrible. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say here. I don't know what to go. I don't know what to go off of that. It looks very intriguing. I want. I want to know more. You should know more. What's your What's your outlook on that? I feel as though this is like uh, his Inception Part Two. the The style, the scope, the editing. It just really feels like he's found his like uh, science fiction lane. He knows like what the audience wants. I'm expecting another uh, visual masterpiece. I'm expecting some uh, groundbreaking edits. I uh, did the crackhead scratch. No, I was just doing the fuck everybody. He said. Fuck out of here. Um, yeah, so what? Um, when are you seeing this movie? This movie? Oh, based off of what you just saw. Are you even hooked to go see that movie, what yeah. you just saw? Okay, yeah. so you're that, hooked, that, that, you're that's a for that? Very, that was a very <laughs> it striking... You, it like, gave you nothing. It gave you, you nothing. It gave you nothing, but it gave you a little bit something. It gave you nothing, but it was done so well that it just makes you want to know more. Like, yeah. what is it? What am I about to see? Uh, what was that uh, trailer we saw? Uh... James Bond. The reason why we were so high on that was because they showed us a little bit. But they didn't didn't, show us much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. With this one, they didn't even give you. Don't. I don't don't even know what's happening. We don't know what who they're chasing (laughs) or what they're chasing. How they're doing it. There's. I did something with time, but I don't know if that was a trailer that they just gave to us or not. I don't know. I don't know. God. Damn it. Oh, yeah, and Rob Patterson was in there. I forgot to mention him. Really? Oh, yeah, he yeah, was yeah, the yeah, other dude. Yeah, he was his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. So, when are you seeing this movie? I'm going to see this movie as soon as it comes out. Yeah, this is a movie I'll run Thursday? to see. This see is it. a movie I'll run to see. Because I feel as though, like... Run to that. Uh, Christopher Nolan is one of those directors that when he makes a movie, it's yeah. going to be... Uh, if, if it's not like a timepiece... He hasn't let anybody down. So no. far with his movies. Batman, a memento, like... Even though you don't remember the Tom Hardy movie, he just did either, but still. Uh, I feel as though it begins with a D. Uh, Dunkirk. Dunkirk, there you go. Ah, we got it. Cut that out, put it in the front of the video. Ha! Um, what, what, what do you think this movie's making? Box office time! Even though we don't know, we don't know how much it, it, the budget was to make the movie. But um, what do you think? What do you think is making? I think that this movie will make ninety million dollars first week. Ninety million? Damn, that's kind of low, son. Ninety million. Okay. It got Batman in it, and it got Black Klansman in it. A black Klansman and Batman, two people that are black, but in white, get it? Excuse me. I'm gonna say ninety million, and here's why: if Star Wars is one of the highest grossing uh, box office movies with yeah. two hundred and forty eight million dollars, yeah, on its opening weekend, uh huh. I don't see this getting half of that. Because it's not the hype of Star Wars. Mm. It's not the hype of an Avengers. It's not the hype of a Captain Marvel. Okay. So this is going to be a word of mouth movie. This is going to be a word of mouth. So that first weekend, I'm not expecting it to uh, go crazy. 
because Christopher Nolan again is one of those directors who's like a director's director. You you want to see your favorite director is gonna look at him and be like, okay, this is how you do it. All right, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. I mean, Dunkirk wasn't as appealing as because uh, it was Inception. a time. It was a time period piece. But even so, it, it, when you watch that movie, it did feel like it was kind of slow if you weren't really into it. Yeah. Because I feel like you could make a hype time period piece. But yeah, you got time period pieces that can actually like really be sold too. But just, like, it, coming off of like, what would he do? Inception? Was it Inception? Inception was really his last movie before Dunkirk, right? Am I missing a movie in between? He oh. did Interstellar. He did Inception in two... Interstellar. Yeah, Boom. Yeah, he did oh, I'm Interstellar. wildin', yeah. son. He did Interstellar. He did Stella. Inception in 2010. Because Interstellar was like a sci-fi. did The Batman. That was, what, 2000. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Interstellar. Wow, how did I miss Interstellar? It was crazy. See, Interstellar is a movie that... That was a sci-fi movie, though, too. But this is also sci-fi. This looks... Even though they're not really telling you if it's sci-fi, I feel like they could have just been tricking us with the trailer, but it's making you think it is sci-fi, that what they're doing. This this is always sci-fi. They're using stuff with time and reversing it. That's... I mean, that's what it looks like they're doing through the trailer. So it looks like it's science fiction. Okay. I mean, if that's what if, if that is what they're doing, then yeah, um, sure. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a hundred mil first weekend. Damn, this guy. That's high. The price right. He he tried to price it. I right. tried to stay real close. See, see, see that, y'all? He, he didn't want to say ninety million in one dollar. He said, "All right, I'm gonna do a ten million." I tried to extra. stay close, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I tried to stay close, man. I hope it go. I hope it gets ninety nine million dollars. It opens with ninety nine. All right, we'll see. Who gets Price it. right rules. I win. So Price right rules. Who wins? I win. Y'all, y'all have to come back to this video and see who wins. I say a hundred mil. He says ninety nine. I say ninety. You said ninety nine. You said ninety. Uh, I said ninety, and I said I hope it gets ninety nine. Oh, so ninety nine. I hope it gets ninety nine. Okay, so you're going with ninety, but you said I hope it gets yeah. ninety nine. Why? Because I have to be. It can't be under. It has to be over. Price right, price right rules. rules, if you go over the price, you bust it, so you don't win anything. Okay. So if you go over. Okay, I see what you're saying. So that's what I'm saying. Okay. So yeah, this is this is this looks like it's gonna be a good movie. I'm excited to see it. Christopher Nolan. Uh if you watch this by any chance, you're one of my favorite directors. Um and I hope you blow it out the park again. Over Quentin Tarantino? Christopher Nolan? Over Quentin Tarantino? Um for me personally, hell no. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's what I'm asking you. <laughs> nah, I like. Uh, I think Christopher Nolan is a better director than Quentin Tarantino. Damn, better. Yeah, I, I, I would say not that his movies are as iconic as uh, Quentin Tarantino's. I just think his movies are more um, complex. I like the challenge he sets okay, up for yeah. himself. Quentin Tar- not to say that Quentin better? Tarantino doesn't do the same thing. I, it's just that, like, for the whole thing, like, if, to make a sci-fi movie like Inception, okay, um, okay. like, you have to be really be thinking outside the box. Not to say Quentin Tarantino doesn't or didn't. It's just that I think Christopher Nolan so takes it a complex, level. a more complex movie is a better movie. That's what you're basically trying to say. No, what a I'm deeper what, movie is a better movie. What I'm saying is, I like the fact that Christopher Nolan gives himself a challenge. When he's uh, so embarking think, on this, you these, don't think Quentin Tarantino uh, gives himself a challenge? Um, not all the time. Like if you have Leonardo DiCaprio acting in your movie, it's what like the, half of the job is done. Oh gosh! <laughs> if you have if you have Christoph Waltz acting, I mean, in your, he, Christopher you have, had a uh, Leonardo in what you call it Inception. Yeah, he did. But then who did he have in Memento? Hey, what was that? Was that Guy Pierce? Who was that? Been mental. I forgot actually. It wasn't a nobody. Not to say that he has nobody. It yeah, it was a, It was a, an A lister. I think it was that made that did that role. I forgot. Okay, let me. Yeah, I'll leave down below who did my mental, even though I could look that up right Interstellar, now. Interstellar. He has Brad Pitt. Interstellar. That wasn't Brad Pitt. That was Matthew McConaughey. Oh, sorry. Uh, so but he's also A list. Like he's not a bad actor. Matthew McConaughey is an A list actor. He got an Academy. It automatically gives you A list. Worthy. Is he really? Mm-hmm. Uh, got an Academy for uh, the other movie, the movie with um, oh my God, what was the movie that he was in that he got an Academy Award for? What uh, Wolf of Wall Street? That's 
Leonardo. He didn't get an Academy. Matthew McConaughey was in a, no, a blip of that, but he didn't get for, for like that. Best supporting character. No, no, no. It was best supporting, uh, uh, beat. Oh no, I forgot the movie he got an Academy Award Just for. Best beat on his chest. I forgot the movie. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't a popular big movie like that. That was like Wolf of Wall Street. It was more. I think also. I think he got something for it. And um, what's the dude from Thirty Seconds of Mars who played uh, Jared Leto? Jared Leto who played um, <laughs> the Joker. Yeah. Uh, uh, That's he, Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, you're talking about the Jared Leto Joker? Jared Leto Joker. The I'm saying, but I'm, no, 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 not that, not that. Uh, I'm saying Jared Leto was also in that movie that Matthew McConaughey was in that I think he got the award for. But I think also Jared Leto got an Academy Award for that role that he played in in that movie with him. I think they both got awards for this movie. I may be wrong and I may need to do more research. I can't remember the movie that I'm talking about. Jared Leto, the lo- movie I'm talking about, Jared Leto, Jared Leto plays a uh, like a transvestite or something like that in this movie. Interesting, right? Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't like a big movie like how, you know, Interstellar was. Yeah. But anyway, Matthew McConaughey is would be considered A-list now because of that. So, so I mean... He, but is he a list because of that, or is he just more like uh, the eyes on him in the industry? Yeah, eyes on him in the industry. But public wise, I don't think the eyes are on him the same way that I. Mm-hmm. I don't hear Matthew McConaughey being mentioned like Brad Pitt or uh, Jamie no, Foxx. because they've been around longer. Well, I mean, they haven't been around longer, but I mean, they've been hot in that way longer. I feel like Matthew McConaughey was doing a, like rom com shit. In yeah. his beginning, where it wasn't, he couldn't really be taken as serious. I think just within the past decade, he's been like getting these bigger roles where it's like more, I don't know, I'm take it out. Like Leonardo's always been doing it. Jamie Foxx also within the past probably like last 15 years, maybe he's probably been really killing it with his movies. I would think since Jamie Foxx when was played Ray Charles. Since he played. But Ray, Ray Charles was also in the 2003, 2000s. right? That's so like since 2000s, he's been landing these big roles. Yeah, yeah, but I feel as though Matthew McConaughey got, I think inter. No, not, I'm not gonna say Interstellar was a thing that like that didn't make him hot. It was before that. I think it would be like Wolf of Wall Street, kind of that like he was already hot from before that. Yeah, I think I'm trying to figure out when this movie came out, what time span it came out, but it was around now. Matthew McConaughey, I feel like Matthew McConaughey literally just started getting hot within the past ten years. But he's so, always yeah. been around. Like, I know he's always him. been around. I'm people saying, always like, knew him. But I mean, like, like, hot in that demanding, oh, I need Matthew McConaughey in Yeah, this so role. that's why I'm like, is, he's not, I don't know. Is he an A-list actor? Would you say John Boyega's an A-list actor? He's getting there. He's getting there. But you know, all eyes are on. When it comes to black actors, it's like, only one person could be the A-list oh, right now. And Michael it's really B. Michael B. Jordan. B. Jordan. Yeah. I mean, he's, no, no, he's no, getting no. there, though. Daniel, Daniel Kaluuya is up there. I would say he's A-list. Not above Michael B. Jordan. He no, never like but I'd say Daniel If this Kaluuya. is a pyramid, Michael B. Jordan's at the top of it. Daniel Kaluuya and whoever else is in that row is with him. I mean, yeah, he got nominated for an Academy, but I don't From think he's hotter. Out, I, no. I, don't, I don't think he's hotter than Michael B. Jordan, but he is a hot and in-demand black male actor. I feel I'm like not, Daniel Kaluuya is he's... with the dude who also was in, um, what's the dude who played Selma? Who was the dude that was in Selma? It was Martin Luther King? Yeah, I forgot that guy's name. That actor's name, that actor. Um, you got Daniel Kaluuya. You got, who else was another top shelf in there or whatever like that. Oh, man, who else is there? I know John Boyega's there, but he's not up there on the, their level yet. Uh, I'm trying to think whoever. Yeah, Nate Boy- Parker probably would have been up there if he didn't go through that little scandal he went through a couple of years ago when his movie was coming out. Uh, Nate, Nat Turner. Yeah, Nat Turner. I don't know. Movie. Uh, Bir- the Birth of a Nation. Nation. Yeah. Uh, you mean you got a few others, but I still think Michael Jordan. I think Jordan's Lakeith Stanfield is also one of his. He's getting up there. up there. He's getting up there, Lakeith Stanfield. Yeah. But yeah, uh, back to this, though. Uh, I would say that uh, Christopher Nolan, Tenant, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Definitely. Definitely, this is a, this is probably gonna be a must a must see movie. John David Washington, boom, he's up there too. John David is getting up there, him too. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. That's Cinema Geeks. What what you guys think of this this trailer right here? Leave your thoughts and comments down below. And uh, yeah, till the next time, we out of here. This is Cinema Geeks. Peace, CG out. There.